The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Prepare ourselves for this celebration now. We once again ask the Lord to help us and to forgive us and to guide us on our journey so that each and every one of us will be with him in his kingdom. We pause for a moment and ask for his forgiveness for our failings. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to the Father and to one another. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of our sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who are pleased to shine forth with new light through the coming of your only begotten Son, grant, we pray, that just as he was pleased to share our bodily form through the childbearing of the Virgin Mary, so we too may one day merit to become companions in his kingdom of grace, we are, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. We are quite confident that if we ask the Son of God for anything, and it is in accordance with his will, he will hear us. And knowing that whatever we may ask, he hears us, we know that we have already been granted what we ask him. If anybody sees his brother commit a sin, that is not a deadly sin. He has only to pray, and God will give him life to this God will give life to the sinner. Not those who commit a deadly sin. For there is a sin that is death. And I will not say that you must pray about it. Every kind of wrongdoing is sin, but not all sin is deadly. We know that anyone who has been begotten by God does not sin, because the begotten Son of God protects him, and the evil one does not touch him. We know that we belong to God, but the whole world lies in the power of the evil one. We know, too, that the Son of God has come and has given us the power to know the true God. We are in the true God, as we are in his Son, Jesus Christ. This is the true God. This is eternal life. Children, be on your guard against false gods. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord takes delight in his people. The Lord takes delight in his people. Sing a new song to the Lord. His prayers in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their king. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with trimbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory. Shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips. This honor is for all his faithful. The Lord takes delight in his people. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. 
A great prophet has appeared among us. God has visited his people. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus went with his disciples into into the Judean countryside and stayed with them there and baptized. At the same time, John was baptizing at Anan near Salim, where there was plenty of water, and people were going there to be baptized. This was before John had been put in prison. Now some of John's disciples had opened a discussion with a Jew about purification. So they went to John and said, Rabbi, the man who was with you on the far side of the Jordan, the man to whom you bore witness, is baptizing now, and everyone's going to him. John replied, A man can lay claim only to what's given him from heaven. You yourselves can bear me out. I said, I myself am not the Christ. I am the one who has been sent in front of him. The bride is only for the bridegroom, and yet the bridegroom's friend, who stands there and listens, is glad when he hears the bridegroom's voice. The same joy I feel, and now it is complete. He must grow greater. I must grow smaller. The Gospel of the Lord. The great thing about St. John the Baptist, of course, was he knew who he was. He knew he was the forerunner of the Christ. People were making out that he was the Christ. But he says, no, I am not the Christ. I am the one who has been sent in front of him. I am the one that has been sent to prepare you for him. And John the Baptist did exactly that. And he reminds them again that how he must grow, Christ grows greater and he grows smaller. John the Baptist prepared the people to receive the Christ. We have received Christ through the sacraments. And it's for us to put him first and foremost in our lives and that our selfish ways should be try, we should try to get rid of and do our utmost to do what he asks of us to love God and to love our neighbour and in so doing we are doing the will of Christ so let us remind ourselves of the great virtue of humility that we humble ourselves. We are here to serve, to help, to guide. We're not here to dictate and shout and bawling at everybody. We're here to try and encourage each other, help each other in every way, and do it with all humility, the humility that John the Baptist himself had. So now let us stand as we pray for the repose of the soul of Marian Vidalich, for whom we're offering this Mass. Lord, in your mercy, we continually pray for the many, many people who are suffering through the virus, the many more people who are suffering, and sadly for the numbers that have died through the virus. We pray for all the families and their friends. And pray that this virus will go so that we can all get back to normality. 
Lord, in your mercy. Remember and pray too for the doctors, the nurses, the carers, and all those highly involved, the ambulance drivers, everyone who's involved in the National Health Service, who are doing their utmost to try and help us all. Lord, in your mercy. Let us pray also for each and every one of us that we do our utmost to help to keep the virus away. Lord, in your mercy. Let us ask Mary, our mother, to pray with us as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of your own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail, Guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to you God entrusted his only Son. In you, Mary, placed her trust with you, and with you, Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father, and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us all from every evil, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bless the Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit to the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit to the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice on in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash us, O Lord, from our iniquities, cleanse us all of our sins. Pray, my friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for today you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations, and when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <coughs> You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy there for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and under willingly to his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one, by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Alan, our Bishop, our clergy, and all our people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. Michael, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours for ever and ever. Amen. To save his command and form by divine teaching, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other now a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen.
From his fullness we have all received grace upon grace. Let us pray. May your people, O Lord, whom you guide and sustain in many ways, experience both now and in the future the remedies which you bestow, that with the needed solace of things that pass away, they may strive with ever deepened trust for things eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in the peace and the love of Christ. Thank you all very much and have a nice day.